good morning friends today we are going to pray, discuss about the overlay analysis which is one of the very important topic in geographical information system to understand how the two or more thematic layers will be overlaid by one by another and to create a new output Overlay is the procedure where two or more thematic maps of the same area are processed for predicting a novel map by considering the attribute of both the thematic layers. And this overlay function not only considers the spatial information of the thematic layer, it also carrying out the attribute information of both the thematic layers. Right. So, in overlay, there are different types of overlay has been processed. That is, uh, in general, whatever the features are represented in the earth surface that we can see, it is represented through either in point or line or in polygon. So, we can overlay either point by time or line by polygon or point by polygon or line by polygon or polygon by polygon. So, first coming to the point in polygon overlay. Suppose there is a features at two points, point A and point B. Plus, we would like to add the po polygon features like suppose these are point features, like polygon features one and two. So, what will be the overlay output? It will be create an output of 1a and 2a. Right. That is the new layer that comprises all the points and polygon layers. Points and polygon layers. Now, coming to the line on line overlay line on line overlay see suppose this is a layer where I have creating a line one plus This it is where I am creating a line of A, B, C. So when the output will be created, it will create in this way. This is the 1A, 1B, 1C. Here the line is intersecting of the two linear data sets. Line on polygon overlay. Line on polygon overlay. There is a line, suppose river. And 
could have some features like uh, see one is uh, we are considering one and two these two features so when the output will become it will create in this way so one r and two r in this overlook technique that is the it the line are included in the polygon layer and subsequently preserved the both the uh, uh, means uh, refer uh, uh, linear features and the polygon features right next come the polygon and polygon overlay polygon on polygon overlay this operation employs a polygon input and overlay layers are combined to create an output polygon layer with extent of the overlay suppose this is a polygon this is a polygon. so when the output will become like that suppose a b one two. So it will come like that. One A, two A, one B, two B. So it preserve all the attributes of the both the input layers, input layers, input one and input two, and create a new output layer by Characterizing the attribute of both the thematic layers. So this overlay function has been done by the several methods. Now we will discuss the what are the methods are involved for this overlay function. That is the methods of overlay. First come into the union. Union combines the all features and attribute information and special extent from the input layer. It uses the OR operator for this process. For example, suppose so the output will be So it preserve all this information of the input layers. Next come to the intersection. It uses the end operator. Intersection comprises the shared features and attribute information from both the input and overlay layers. Like that, if we intersect this layer 1 and layer 2, we will preserve this information only in this part. Because in both the layers, that is the intersecting part. So, it is preserving this part. Next come to the symmetrical difference. Symmetrical 
difference. This method employed the XOR operator. XOR operator. And this procedure contains those areas common to any one of the features of the data sets. For example, if these two input layers are available, then the output will be like that. So these are the features. We do not get this part in the output layers. Next coming to the identity. In identity, let's create an output layer with the special extent of the input layer but includes the attribute information of Overlay. For example, in identity, the output will be like that. So these are the overlay methods that is used in the overlay function to create a need or new output of the two or more thematic layers in our GH database. Our several errors has come during this overlay function like silver that we have discussed in our earlier class of the topological errors so this silver this is a narrow gap that is formed when a shared boundary of the two polygons do not meet exactly right when uh, the two polygons of the shared boundary that do not meet exactly then it's created silver gap and this is the so. next is the cluster tolerance cluster tolerance this is a geoportion setting that forces nearby vertices that to be snapped together if they fall within a user specified distance so if you are considering the Snap, snapping distance that is suppose less than 1 meter but there is a snapping distance of more than 1 meter so this this can create a error on in the overall operation next is the error propagation suppose if we have a information of the input layer having an error so it can create an inaccurate map so these are the common error that can found during our overlay operations so this overlay operation specially useful for the query and modeling purpose when you are going to analyze the database or we make a query or develop any special model then this overlay for our, our function played an important role 
to solve the aerial interpolation problem from the known data this is the one set of the polygon to another polygon this overlay function played an important role in GIS that there are another important information that is related to this overlay function that we can discuss here like the raster overlay In raster overlay, the values of the cells in the output layer is calculated from the result of mathematical operation of the input layer. Mathematical operation of input layer. In raster overlay, Different types of mathematical operations are used like arithmetic function, what are the arithmetic function? That is the addition, subtraction, multiplication or division. These are the arithmetic function that can be used in raster overlay to create a new output layer from the two different raster or more raster data. That is the then relational function like more than, greater than or equal to. Logical operation like and or itself and the conditional function. If then else. So these are the function that can be used in raster overlay process to create a new output. Thank you for watching this video and subscribe the same.